There's a huge fat rat under the table. I saw it. Oh, it's half. It's half. It is disgusting. Today is November 8th. It's 4 a.m. Going to Dallas today. All right, so we're in Dallas. We're meeting up with Jordan Rogers. We're doing a brand campaign, so Niche decided to fly me out here for the day. I'm gonna get a rental car, shoot over to his house, film for a little bit, come back to the airport, and then we're headed back to San Diego. Okay, so I got my car rental at Thrifty. Apparently, keys are in the car. I get to pick from any one of these mid-size SUVs. Which one do I want? Which one do I want? Welcome to Dallas. All right, let's go find Jordan. I was heading to Jordan's house, put the directions in my phone, and... And my phone stopped working. Great. So I'm sitting here in the parking lot. Ah, there we go. Came on. Thanks, Doc. Going down. Quick shoot with Jordan. Go back to San Diego. Let's go. Let's get out of here. So we're going to Target. Something that I had talked about on Halloween with Shiloh. Switch, switch. Switch, switch. Switch, switch. Uh, their candy's been sitting at our house. They haven't really eaten any of it. So we decided to do it. It's called a Switch Witch. It's when the kids trade in their candy for, for a toy. Yeah, and Tony told us about a switch switch, and we wanted to do it so we all. Okay, so we did the switch switch. Now we're faced with the question, what do we do with all this Halloween candy? There's a lot of candy here, and a lot of good candy. Heath bars? I mean, come on. But what kind of an example would I be setting for my kids if we had them trade in their candy for toys and then I'm going through their candy and eating everything? So what do we do with all this candy? What's up? You ready to go to the beach? Ready. I feel like I'm going to the beach. You look like you're going to the beach, which is good. Tell them what we're doing here. Okay. So the Audible company that had us do the commercial with the kids needs a photo too. We're gonna take a photo um, that basically portrays somebody escaping their commute by listening to a book on Audible. The idea would be that I look like I'm just relaxing at the beach and forgetting that I am in a car driving. So there's that. And there's that. Thanks, babe. Sorry that was torture. Where are you going? <laughs> Big comb, bigger scissors. Oh, come on. Cut my whole ear off. Are, are you cutting your hair? She's licensed. Are you licensed? I'm on no. Hair off. I'm on my Hi. side. Good morning, ladies. For the three of you that were wondering, we still have the two Sarama chickens, which means miniature chickens. We plan on moving the coop. When we move the coop, we're gonna get more chickens. What the heck? Whoa. Oh my gosh, oh jeez, what the heck? Clumsiest grasshopper I've ever seen. Oh. 
There's this really special spot in Oceanside. Um, it's like this big circular platform. If you clap in the middle, it echoes and ricochets the sound and makes this like twang sound. It's really cool. Sweepy just discovered one in our house. By sneezing. You're kind of in the way of it. Oh. Do you hear it? Do it again. The buzzing sound? Yeah. I want to hear. Can what? you really hear it? Why is there a buzzing sound? Do you hear it? Yeah. It's like an echo, but stand in my shoes. Wait, stand where I'm standing. Well, you're standing there. I can't stand there. Move, you're so, so move. Turn around. Oh my gosh, I can see where you're standing. Turn around. It's not like we're going to lose the spot. Ba Just walk move. backwards. <laughs> Just move. Okay, and I'll, I'll walk backwards. You stop at my feet. Ready? Go. What is this about? Two feet. Stop. Oh my gosh. That's perfect. I wonder what this sounds like in slow motion. Ready? Uh, we're running errands today. So, I'm not back home. sorry. You're gonna run some errands with us today. Where are we going right now? Uh, Franco's. Franco's. James. James Franco's Flower Mart. The Sweepy Sister's having another baby and we're here to get Flowers for the baby showers. The jungle. Going through the jungle. The jungle. We went through the jungle and we're out of flowers. Well, I found yellow ones. And this one's through the jungle. Yeah. Sure. The Statue of Liberty. Hold this. I'm the Statue of Liberty. Now. Hmm. <laughs> Got him. Yeah. Soon enough. Don't believe me? Look. See? James Franco's flower custom arrangement in the case. Told you. Okay, since I was gone on Wednesday, which is Shiloh and my skate day, uh, we didn't get to skateboard. I'm not going to be able to get the whole ramp thing done this week, but I do have time to do what we call put a band aid on it. So I'm going to put a band aid on the ramp. Not, um, not a real band-aid. Not a real band-aid. Right Should we do a video in here? Okay, uh, we're gonna make a quick magic video. This is how we disappear. Plywood. Mini ramp. We're replacing this piece here because it's rotting out. So this is how you put a band-aid on it. Looks like a band aid, too. Ready to skate? Try a tail stall. It's getting dark. Sleepy wanted us to bring some basil up with us because she's making food for the baby shower that's happening tomorrow. So we're gonna head up, grab some basil on the way up. You wanna pull off some basil leaves? How's it smell? Can I taste it? Sure. What's it taste like? Basil. Huh? Basil. What? Basil. Taste it, Daddy. Hmm. Okay, we all have to try it. Come on, tastes like bubble gum. Doesn't taste like bubblegum. Yes, twice as much. Can you go with him? Hazel, 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 hazel,
There's no cheese. Well, so it's just macaroni? It's an alternative to cheese. So I'm prepping it all, getting it all done, putting it in the fridge to bake tomorrow. It's okay. That was the tomatoes. Both sides of the spectrum. Extra cheese, zero cheese. <laughs> 